name is Rob. If this is your first time here, we are the YouTube tool and channel that aims to help you get more views in less time. Our tool is, of course, free to download. A link is in the description. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our content. And as by way of an introduction, that's our very first tip appeal directly to your audience for a subscription. Now there is a school of thought that suggests asking for subscribers may sound a little desperate, cheesy, but it's simply a part of the YouTube fabric. People ask you to smash that like button to improve the YouTube algorithm and engagement rates. Now we're simply asking you to subscribe to our channel for two reasons. Obviously you want these viewers to come back for future content on your channel, but if you're open and honest and say that I need to get to 1,000 subscribers to monetize my content and help sustain the channel, I think subscribers and viewers would accept that. I've never had a single comment on one of my videos complaining about asking for subscribers, and if you never ask, you may never get. A way you could encourage your viewers to subscribe is to do something a little exciting and animate on screen like this. You can get all sorts of resources from all over the internet, simply try what fits for you and you may see an upsurge in subscribers. Our next tip is to take advantage of this icon down here, which is your watermark branding. When viewers click on this icon, it takes them to your channel where they could subscribe after watching more of your content. It's edited and created via the branding page on the Creator Studio. Now we have two pieces of advice for this little icon. First of all, put the word subscribe in there just to encourage people to do exactly what it says and don't introduce it right at the beginning or at the very end of your video. You want it to act as a visual distraction maybe 30 to 45 seconds into the video. Now you can't put subscription links in video cards during the video but you can put a subscription button in the end screens like this. Now I know this is going to look a bit weird, don't worry the video is not ending here, but as you can see I'm trying to be creative with the way I draw people to that subscription button, so give it a try yourself. Next up we have what you might call a dirty little web trick. Whenever you share your YouTube channel, add this to the end of your link, and this is what happens when users click on it. They are prompted to automatically subscribe to your channel before actually visiting your YouTube channel page. As I say, it's a little dirty, you might annoy some users who get this pop-up and then click off your page, but I bet the majority of them will be happily cancelling and looking at your channel or subscribing outright. Another way to directly appeal to your audience for a subscription is to write a comment and then pin it to your videos. When you do this, that pinned comment appears at the top of the comments list. Now again, I feel as if honesty is the best policy. Be open and transparent. Tell your audience why you're pinning these comments, why you're asking for subscriptions. Maybe it's because you want to invest the money you earn back into the channel with new equipment or products. You could also add a similar message to the video description of all of your videos if you have the bulk campaign manager from vidIQ available for Boost and Pro users. It's accessed from the video manager page of the Creator Studio and as you can see on screen you could add a message either before your current video description or after and add it to certain videos or all of your videos all of this is explained in a lot more detail in our dedicated video, so check it out. Another thing you can do is reach out to an entirely new audience by adding value to other channels. That might be watching their content and posting awesome comments that either get pinned or liked by the channel creator and create a conversation. When people get involved in those conversations, they're going to think, hmm, this video creator perhaps has a value on their own channel. Visit your stuff and perhaps subscribe to your channel. So think of it on a wider scale beyond just your current audience. Try and attract a new audience who may really enjoy your content and subscribe. As an example, we get all sorts of awesome comments from you on our videos. And I'm sure many other video creators are reading those comments, agreeing or disagreeing, generating a conversation, perhaps visiting your channels and subscribing. In a recent example, we had a video creator who got an audit on one of our live streams and that drew in a significant number of new subscribers to his channel. He increased his subscriber base by 5% just by contributing to our live stream, so thank you very much for that. Our next tip may sound obvious, but it does need reinforcing. Post new content on a regular basis. For some viewers, it may only take one video to convince them to subscribe to your channel. But for others, they may watch a video, enjoy it, but they don't subscribe. Then in their YouTube homepage, they see another new video from you. They watch it, enjoy it and say, yep, 
I've seen a couple of videos from this person now, I enjoy their content, I'm going to subscribe. And following on the theme of encouraging viewers to become subscribers, make sure that your channel homepage is very welcoming, a channel trailer, a good description about what your channel does including a good channel banner, and of course plenty of playlists that tell the viewer exactly what your channel's about. In fact, when you're sharing videos, share the playlist video link. That means that when a viewer is watching your video, they're within your playlist environment, they may see more videos that they like from your channel and eventually subscribe. So those are 10 tips to help you get up to 1000 subscribers. So why hasn't this video ended just yet? Well, we have an 11th tip, a controversial one. We're not even sure we should suggest this, but everybody else is going to do it, so you might as well know what it's about. Psst. Sup for sup. We can't avoid this subject. Now that YouTubers need to get up to 1000 subscribers, there's almost a legitimate reason for YouTubers to post sub for sub. They're actually helping out each other to get to a numerical value in order to satisfy YouTube's needs. But this comes with a lot of caveats. If you do sub for sub, there's a very small chance that you're actually going to get any valuable watch time from those subscribers. And if there's a lot of sub for sub going on from channels that have no intention of actually producing any decent content, or indeed any content whatsoever, they might be gaming the YouTube system, those channels could get deleted by YouTube and then you lose a slew of subscribers. The main thing you should be doing is spreading a message of value that convinces viewers to become subscribers and not through some simple transaction to get to a target. And as a final note on the subject of Sub for Sub, if you do follow YouTube by the book, it breaks their terms of service and you could receive a strike on your channel. So you have been warned. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it enjoyable, informative and useful. If you did, smash that like button up our YouTube algorithm. And of course, if you want more content just like this, subscribe to vidIQ. You see, it's easy. Enjoy the rest of your video making day. Bye for now.